Now after receiving your CAM 7800 from CAM TV, you're going to start wanting to balance it. What first thing you need to do is include the DSLR with the lens you're going to use, as well as the battery and the SD card installed. Make sure that you have everything that you're going to use for your camera already on there when you place it on there. You don't want to be off by a couple pounds or ounces. To start balancing, you're going to need to start with the roll bar, which is this back horizontal piece here. To start balancing, you're going to need to loosen these screws here, uh, the four screws in the corner, and then move it left or right until you've eliminated all movement to the left or right. After um, eliminating any left and right movement with the roll bar, you're going to want to start with the pitch horizontal plate, which is then also loosened by an Allen key. You'll move this up or down until you've eliminated all movement backwards and forwards. After that, you're going to start um, by balancing the yaw section, which is the top portion here. And you basically want to be able to turn this all the way around and lean this back. If it stays in this position, you are correctly balanced. If it starts to move back like this, you're going to need to move it forward or backwards to accommodate. Once you are completely balanced, as we are on the 7500, you should be able to move the camera into this position and have it stay there, move the camera into this position and have it stay there, and then you're supposed to be able to turn this top section around and lean this back and it should be able to stay there. While balancing your gimbal, please note that this was included. It basically says please do not modify the boards or the profile settings while balancing in the GUI software system. That is another big difference between the 7800 and the 7500. Where this one says not to mess with the profile settings, we would still recommend going into the settings and making sure that your camera is actually balanced before you start shooting. Keep in mind while you are in the software portion of the uh, balancing stage, the more precise you have it in the settings, the less battery voltage you'll be using at the top on the battery, and the less torque you'll actually be exerting on the motor to keep the camera balanced. And now we're ready to start balancing for our camera, Panasonic GH4 with a 12-35mm lens. One thing we did notice while installing the included quick release plate, you have to make sure the screw starts at the circular end of the quick release plate, and then after you get the threads started, you can then move the quick release plate to the back middle position and then tighten that down. Along with that, make sure that you have the open end of the quick release plate facing the back of the camera. From there, you should be able to slide the camera into place. After moving the safety lever, which is this little lever here, in line with the horizontal lock bar, and pushing this button here to move this Allen key to help lock the camera in place. So from there, slide in from the front, push down on that button, ta-da, and then after you have it at a certain in line with the horizontal bars, you should be able to lock it in place with that lever so then it will no longer slide forward and backwards. From there, start with the roll bar. So now that it's spinning that way, I have to push the bar towards my left. While balancing the roll bar, make sure that it is at a 90 degree angle with the horizontal bar in the back section, and then from there, move it left or right to help balance the camera. Loosen these four screws to assist you while moving the uh, roll bar left or right. After moving the roll bar, just tighten down the four screws on the back portion and test to see if you balance the camera for left and right movement. Now it's tilting that way, so I have to move the bar back towards my left. Again, make sure that you are at a 90 degree angle before tightening the screws back down. And then you are balanced for left and right tilt. Now that we are balanced on the uh, roll bar, we um, can do this, but you can see that the camera points down, which then pulls the pole bar down at a level angle, which means that the pitch now has to be adjusted, which is done 
by loosening the screws here on the horizontal pitch plate. Just loosen them, don't take them out all the way. Now remember, while you are adjusting the pitch, you can move both bars to help counterbalance any front weight that you may have with the lens that you're using. Also remember while adjusting the horizontal pitch bar that you do um, make an effort to have enough slack in this co uh, controller cable to actually run it over this little ledge here so it's not back here and getting uh, tangled up while you're adjusting the pitch bars. Also keep in mind while you are adjusting the pitch horizontal bars, you do have a little bit of leeway with the quick release plate. You can move the camera backwards or forwards to help with balancing. Another thing to remember while you are balancing the pitch, you should be able to not only have this sit level, but you should be able to move this down and forward and it should be able to stay in the position you leave it in. If it does swing backwards or forwards, you are not balanced yet. There we are. Now you remember, you are only truly balanced if you can lean the camera forward and it will stay in the position you leave it in, or you lean the camera back and it stays in the position you leave it in. So at this point we have balanced the pitch on the pitch horizontal bar and we have balanced the roll on the roll bar, but we are still getting a little bit of play to the, um, left, or to the right tilt. One thing you can do without having to go back through unloosening the back screws is you can move the quick release plate to the opposite direction you are getting the roll. So if we are getting a bit of a roll to the right side, you should be able to loosen this on the bottom of the quick release plate and move it to the left side to counterbalance that. Now remember, if you do, the, do this upside down like I just did, the movements are reversed. So you'll move it to the right to counterbalance right tilt. One of the things I noticed while adjusting the quick release plate for left and right tilt is that one of the screws in the back had come a little loose and I wasn't exactly at a right angle and tight for it. So I'm just going to readjust that really quick and then go back to the quick release plate until we have this balanced. Please be patient while balancing your gimbal. It does take anywhere from 45 minutes to three hours depending on how good you are at balancing it. Now we had some trouble with the roll bar, but we did manage to get it balanced. So now I'm just going to tighten these screws up here. And another thing to do before you start moving on to the next portion of balancing, which will be the yaw or the top part here, is to tighten down every screw. Now, for balancing the yaw, which is the top portion of the gimbal, we recommend tightening one screw and loosening the other three to help you while you twist the top bar either to the left or the right. And to check if you are actually balanced, you then center this and tilt it backwards. If it swings to the right, which mine just did this way, it needs to be uh, turned to the left. in small increments, very small increments. <laughs> I was very close, but not yet. Got it. Please remember after you do pass the little balance test right there that you do screw, screw back all the screws and make sure they are tight. And try it one more time just to double check. And make sure when you are doing the balance test that you swing it forward towards you and 
you'll actually have it backwards and then spin it back there.